Good morning from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, on a Monday morning, Monday, Monday. And uh, yeah, uh, it's about 41 degrees here. And uh, why did I come back to Fort Clark? Well, uh, it looked like the weather was going to be good here for the next several days. And yesterday in uh, Falcon Lake, Sunday, was going to be rainy and cold the entire day. So I thought, well, I can be a shut-in here, or I can shut myself in and drive back to uh, Fort Clark. And it was uh, I came through Laredo. It was a Sunday morning and not much traffic at all. And so that made the, it's a lot shorter going that way. It's about a, well, for me, a six-hour drive, 250 miles. And, uh, yeah, we did okay. And, uh, and now we've gotten here at my little home base at Fort Clark, Texas, and we are set up. I got all the stuff in and uh, put away, which is important. And uh, yeah, we're, we're home. It was nice to sleep on a queen size bed last night and take a shower and a big uh, tile shower. And yeah, it was, uh, it's nice to be back. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a nice trip. I got to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish, mainly to get out of some really cold weather that was coming this way. And uh, let's go to comments over here and get that started. Yeah, we got it. But anyway, what else? Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now went right on by. What else? Never worry about what you cannot change. And this is the old stinking one-eared goat saying good morning to all you guys. And then we also have the gnome. The gnome knows. <laughs> the gnome knows everything. And then we have our lady here with the one wheel trash can, Matilda. This is where all the trolls go right there. Thank you, Matilda. She looks like she's healthy. She's had some good meals. And of course, we have Mr. Romeo, my guard dog, who checks out everything every day and keeps all the bad guys off or out of here. And then uh, what else have we got? That's And then all the stuff on the wall and so forth and so on. So with that in mind, what else can I tell you? We'll be here for a while. <coughs> so you're going to get some walking, triking, golf carting, driving videos for a while. And, uh, and then we'll head out to uh, New Mexico. Probably, I'm not going to, I don't know. I ain't going to say. Whenever. And, uh, well, well, I'll do a video about that. But anyway, what else? Uh, let's do the comments, Rusty. I believe I will. This is uh, S-I-T-H-I-O-T-H, whatever that is. And that was on the tiny home Home Depot. Would be a great little cabin on my mountain property. Includes installation. That's a steal. Then I can work on the rest myself. Yeah, they do. They, they actually build it on your site. And uh, Caravan Dan Adventure says, Rusty, I have to say, this is my favorite video that you made of Valley of Fires. It is a very beautiful campground. That was trike, man. I, I, I had my electric trike with me, and uh, I triked the uh, Bureau of Land Management Campground, Valley of Fires. Uh, he says reservations for March 30th through April the 3rd. Thanks for all the videos. You're very welcome. And Daddle Wells. Yeah, there's others in here. And, and visit Pie Town. Yeah. Good area. No really good cell phone reception, but uh, it's a still pretty. It's about 7,500 feet in elevation there. RV living with the geezer. I agree, Rusty. If you live full-time in an RV, you'll deal with problems of all kinds. Have a great day, amigo. You too, geezer. This is uh, Republic T Tusa. Oh, wait a minute. Republic One USA. Sorry about that. Any hassle returning blanket? No. And one thing about Walmart, if you have your receipt and it's in the original packaging, you, you just take it back and they put it back on your credit card the same day. Stepping Wolf. A to Z dollars, or I guess that's Amazon dollars, headed your way. Hope you returned from your safari safely. Yeah, I did. It, it was sprinkling rain all, all the way from uh, Falcon Lake to here, uh, Fort Clark Springs. And the temperature, when I left Falcon Lake, it was 37 degrees and misty rain. 
When I arrived here, it was 37 degrees and misty rain. The temperature in the vehicle never changed for 250 miles. No, it's nuts. But it was it was an okay drive, you know, Sunday morning. Not a lot of traffic. Now, the only downside of traveling on Sundays is is if you have a mechanical breakdown and you call your 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 emergency car thing, uh, then they may not be able to find anybody. Uh, Geneva Merrick, LOL. I know the feeling, Rusty. That's on the uh, oops. I am alone in my cabin and find myself laughing at myself because of ridiculous things that can happen just trying to survive. No, I agree. It, it, you know, just living, uh, there's some crazy stuff that happens. Uh, this is D.M. Davis. Ha, done a few dumb things also and can relate. Ha, yeah, no kidding. It, uh, it, it, it doesn't end just because I'm back here at home base. No, they're, they're, I do dumb things everywhere I go. <laughs> Uh, Texas lady, thumbs up to you. And then the oop stuff, this is Miss Majestic. Says, no one told me about how you can't live in a camper in a polar in polar Arctic weather or heavy, severe, high winds over 60 miles an hour. I learned this the hard way. I experienced, experienced it in Tennessee this week. Yeah, well, <laughs> it just takes you one time to learn, though, doesn't it? Yeah, one lesson and you're done. Uh, this is Mike McCuddy. Let's just be glad no one let the black tank clean out running. Went for a walk and came back to a mess. I can't imagine anybody being that stupid. I did it. Anyway, enough said. Uh, Jim Christensen, Murphy's Law. Yep, the day in the life for most of us. Yeah, it's true. But, you know, it, uh, it, life is entertaining if you allow it. it. It can be very entertaining. Lisa, 850. Beautiful walk, peaceful views, view, very relaxing. Thanks, Rusty, for taking us along with you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, guys, uh, all of y'all. And uh, thank all of y'all that use the Amazon link. I appreciate it. And then John the Brew. Well, it will never happen again. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. You never know, man. You never know. <coughs> Caravan Dan Adventure says Romeo had, had, to, had, had, had to seen it. He didn't bark. No, he, he didn't bark. Scotty Thompson, nice red shirt, Rusty. Thank you. Cool comment call. Cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. Clint Price, glad it wasn't something worse. Thanks for making people aware of what to look out for. Whether, you know, I doubt if anybody will have that happen to them. You know, it was just a fluky thing, but, you know, whatever. Mike McCuddy, comment call. Unfortunately, what I read, uh, what I read was actual EV owners who were ticked off. They were stranded because they're, v you know, believe me, guys, uh, you have to be careful of the media now, particularly. And the reason is a lot of the stories, I, stories, I do not know what percentage, but it's, it's getting to be a large percentage of news stories are written by artificial intelligence, learning algorithms that search the internet and put together a story. I can go to Bard <clears throat> and have them write me a story just like that, and it's very readable, and I could get it published, I guarantee you. So, uh, yeah, it, it, and, and, and the way you, you can go to Bard, the AI, for Google, and type in how can I identify artificial intelligence stories, and it will actually tell you how to identify them. Unfortunately, uh, it's, it's a fine line between their stories and human stories. But the, the, the smart thing that AI does is they come up with a very catchy headline, you know, uh, that, that, that gets uh, clicks, okay? And much better than humans, all right? But anyway, enough said about that. But as far as the EV is not charging well in winter, why was it just this winter? You know, what happened the last 10 winters? All right. You know, uh, all of a sudden they found a story. I wouldn't doubt that that was written by AI. Uh, time for dirt. I can relate to the oops moments. Uh, we had a few with our RV. Beautiful scenery. Everybody does. Alvin Masso, excellent video. Thank you. And then this is uh, Tracy Phillips. Hi, Rusty. That's the way it goes sometimes. Have a great day. Yeah, it is true, and you just have to roll with the punch because once it's happened, 
you obviously can't do anything about it. You know, so why worry about it? <clears throat> Just take care of business. Anna Marie. Hello, Anna Marie. Wish you had a walking stick for those walks. Coyotes, snakes, shoot, shoot the bugs alone. Go on walks too. Sorry you had such a rough start. Sounds like you handled it. Uh, thank you. I, I do have, I have a walking stick. I take a walking stick every time I go. I've got one here at Fort Clark Springs, and then I also have one inside the Class B RV. <clears throat> so I've got a walking stick, and, and they're good. If I banged you over the head with it, you'd know it. <clears throat> Debbie Kami? Oh, no. Sheet, S-H-E-E-T, happens. Thank goodness the stopper wasn't pushed down. You would have had a mess. Yeah, no kidding. Or if the faucet would have been swung all the way around, you know, it would have run water out every, all, all over the counter. Anyway, Jet Mountain 1, do I dare ask? You said there's going to be a lot happening. I don't know if I'm ready for whatever it is. Well, no, th th what's happening is I just meant I was fixing to move out <coughs> in the next few days. And it just so happened I got to check in the weather on uh, Sunday afternoon. And I thought, hmm, I think I'll head out. Because they do give you a refund for unused days at uh, Falcon Lake. Uh, they do deduct, I don't know, $10 or so for a fee, but that's chump change. No, I got a, I got a refund for the days I didn't use. Uh, Tamar Ray, 45, you're the real deal, Rusty, and oopsie daisy avoided. Well, not really avoided, but handled. I mean, uh, Richard Ross drove about 15 miles with my bat and wing antenna straight up in the air. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, I, you know, people do that all the time or drive, uh, leaving the vents open, particularly the bathroom vent, uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, antennas are usually, yeah, and if you, you used to have those old crank up TV antennas, you'd see those up all the time. Gary Bell, the pump switch should only be turned on when you need water. I, I know that. I mean, I, I understand that, and I understand what it causes. But anyway, thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. Uh, James Jackson staying inside to stay warm. Yeah, that's smart. You know, you can't stay outside in the cold to stay warm. That would not be very, very smart. Uh, slow hiker. That's some thick brush. We must have what must have been like when it was 100 year, 180 years ago for the settlers. Uh, it could have been. I, I don't know that that's been bulldozed or anything over the years. It might have been, uh, but, uh, no, it, it, it's just thick, good old southwest Texas brush country, and everything's got thorns. <clears throat> we'll do a few more here. User says, how unfortunate. Could have been worse. Nice walk. Hopefully we both get warmer weather, colder than usual here in Arkansas. Teens and 20s, new subscribers, I enjoy your channel. Well, welcome, user. Thank you very much. But yeah, today here it's supposed to be in like the low 60s, sunny. And then uh, for the rest, well, all the way to the end of January, it looks like it's going to be 60s, 70s, and mostly sunny. And the lows are going to be in the upper 40s, low 50s, which is great. Because, see, I heat this whole house. See, like right now, what, you, what is it over there, 60, 62? And I've just got that one tall heater on low. And in the bedroom, it's like 58. And, you know, to me, that's not bad. You know, I can always put on clothes. But no, and I do like it a little cooler anyway. Uh, James Jackson, it's cold here, 38 high. But anyway, guys, let me do a couple more here. We've got three more right here. Levi Stubbs, luckily no harm done. All the best, Rusty. Thank you, Levi. Al Fur says thumbs up, thumbs up to you. And Cheryl Fightmaster, absolutely beautiful walk. Thanks, Rusty. Well, you're quite welcome. <clears throat> and we got more of them coming, guys. We got more coming. We'll, we'll keep it going. It'll be, you know, softball stuff like, like always. And uh, you'll get to see the whole gang every day for several days. And uh, what else? Uh, Miss Google over here, the Google Home device, for some reason won't connect to my hotspot. And it's a real pain to set it up. The Alexa is much easier, but I've got it in the RV, and I think I'm just going to leave it there. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye, bye, bye. Anything you want, anytime. If you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. 
And so, yeah, just click on the link, go to Amazon and get what you want. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day is good for you. Uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. That relieves stress. And then stretch, you know, swivel, walk, exercise your body once or twice a, get a day. <clears throat> and then stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you've ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the next video. And on and on we go. Stay warm, keep your health, and enjoy your life. Adios, amigos, bye bye.